a mysterious epidemic is sweeping through the ocean. And one of the world's largest and fastest sea stars is fighting for survival. Until about a decade ago, sunflower sea stars were a common sight from Mexico to Alaska. Now, this once abundant predator has disappeared from vast stretches of its range. Beginning in 2013, a devastating disease known as sea star wasting syndrome began causing sea stars' bodies to break down into disintegrating tissue. Of the 20 species affected, sunflower stars were hit particularly hard. The disease killed an estimated 5.75 billion sunflower stars, making it the largest recorded marine wildlife disease outbreak in history. The global population has plummeted by over 90%, and they've recently earned the status of critically endangered. Scientists noticed a key pattern. Outbreaks of the disease often coincided with unusually warm ocean temperatures. While researchers are still studying how exactly marine heat waves and the disease interact, the connection between the rising temperatures and catastrophic sea star declines is clear. The effects of this loss ripple through the entire ecosystem. Sunflower sea stars are one of the primary predators of sea urchins, which means that without them, urchin populations have exploded. These unchecked urchins are devouring kelp forests, vital underwater habitats that provide food, shelter, and even cycle nutrients like carbon from the atmosphere to the sea. As kelp forests vanish, species that depend on them also suffer. But there is hope. In some cold, deep water fjords in British Columbia, Hakai scientists have found evidence of potential refuge populations. These efforts are vital, not just to save a species on the brink, but to restore balance to an entire marine ecosystem.